So a panic attack feels like a very, very out of control feeling, a very, very out of control experience. It just happens out of nowhere. It could be happening because you're afraid of something, something you feared earlier, something you had anxiety about. Or it could just happen and you don't know why it's happening. It just happens. So some of the symptoms of a panic attack is a racing heart, feeling weak, faint, or dizzy, tangling or numbness in the hands and fingers, sense of terror or impeding or impending doom or death. So that means it's like it feels like you are dying. You actually think that you are about to die. The first time I had a panic attack was, how long ago was this? Maybe a year ago? Before then, I thought that I had panic attacks before, but I'm not quite sure if I ever had a panic attack before this time. But this time, like a year ago, I would say was my first panic attack. I didn't know what was happening to me I thought for sure that I was about to die. Like nobody could tell me that I wasn't about to die. And the feeling just came over me. I felt out of control. I felt out of this world. I felt like I couldn't, like, it was just weird. Like, I was out of this world, and I felt like I was about to die. And I just needed, you know, to get rushed to the hospital. I think I was having, um, yeah, I was having chest pains, too. So some more symptoms of a panic attack is feeling sweaty or having chills, chest pains, breathing difficulties, and feeling a loss of control. Now, since then, I haven't been having much panic attacks, but this week I've been having panic attacks again. So, this week and last week, on and off, I've been having a lot of panic attacks. Now, with these panic attacks, it's more of I'm having breathing difficulties. I have to catch my breath. I have to watch my breathing. My breathing feels off. I feel like I'm losing it. Not really, you know, just like a loss of control of things around me. I would say I don't think this panic attack was as worse as the one I had last year. Even though these, they are pretty bad also. And panic attacks generally last 10 minutes and the symptoms can persist for a longer time. P 
people who have had one panic attack are at greater risk for having more panic attacks than those who have never experienced the panic attack. When the attacks occur repeatedly and there is worry about having more episodes, a person is considered to have a condition known as panic disorder. And I do have panic disorder. People with panic disorder may be extremely anxious and fearful since they are unable to predict when the next episode will occur. Panic disorder is fairly common and affects about 6 million adults in the U.S. Women are twice as likely as men to develop the condition and its symptoms usually begin in early adulthood. Early adulthood. So, yeah, maybe I have been having panic attacks before I noticed that I was having panic attacks. But I would say the worst, worstest panic attack I've ever experienced had to be last year. I thought I was going to die. I really thought I was about to die. Hmm. Um. So with these panic attacks, the symptoms vary from racing heart and every time I have a panic attack, I do have a racing heart. Um, trembling or shaking. I shake sometimes. And as I said, with these panic attacks, I've been having sharpness of breath a lot and chest discomfort. I'm just seeing this one, which is abdominal distress mm -hmm. and feeling dizzy, unsteady, lightheaded are faint and that's been a symptom too lately with the ones that I've been having this week and last week like I feel dizzy unsteady lightheaded and at some point like I'm gonna faint if I don't sit down so That's how panic attacks feel and they're definitely, they are definitely no fun. They're very scary. Sometimes when you have them, you fear for your, you fear for your life. So they're just no fun. So, um, that's just all about panic attacks. So I hope you guys learned something about panic attacks. Uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment, let me know if you ever had a panic attack before. What do you do when you have a panic attack? Um, and what symptoms do you have when you have a panic attack? Have you ever experienced shortness of breath when having a panic, panic attack? Um, and have you ever went to the emergency room during a panic attack? Last time I had a panic attack, uh, last year the reason I went to the emergency room because I didn't know at first I was experiencing a panic attack and I was just thinking I was about to die all of a sudden so it's strange and it's weird 
So thanks angels. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment, share, and join Unique Mystery. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.